What's going on y'all, Buck with Carolina Crazy Outdoors? Well, back in South Carolina today, but we're here to talk about a monster Kansas buck that a South Carolina guy killed. But before we get into that, I'm over here at JC's Outdoors and uh, Christopher on his son, Tucker, is the one that actually killed the deer. But uh, I want to show you all these bait tanks, man. You talk, this is where we get our bait from when we fishing. Um, crappy fishing, we get our toughies from here and our herring from here. But check these big bait tanks out, y'all. You talking about nice, and you can see all the herring in there. These things are so clean. We ain't never had a problem with anything dying either, which is great. And they got them too, buddy. And there's all the toughies and stuff. They just ready to go on the hook. Ain't nothing in that one. And they got, got more over there. So, if y'all need bait, right here's where you get it from. And they got all kind of other stuff in there as well. I mean, it's like a mini Bass Pro Shops. But um, I'm going to get over there and get inside the store one day. But not today. So, uh, I appreciate everybody watching my uh, Carolina Crazy Outdoors YouTube channel. I appreciate the support. Um, the own spot stuff I've been doing with these big bucks is, well, actually, on location. The thing I've been doing with these big bucks has been very popular. People love it. They love the stories that goes with the deer. So I appreciate y'all watching that. Um, I done a humongous Georgia buck yesterday. I done a monster South Carolina buck last week. I got a really big deer to do tomorrow in South Carolina. But today, we got a Kansas buck we're gonna look at. And I'm looking at him right now. Oh, you talking about heart failure, it would give you heart attack right there, buddy. If that thing walked up on me, I would probably have a heart attack. But anyway, let's go talk with Tucker. And I think his dad's got something funny to say too. Makes for a good story. All right, y'all, as you can see, we finally made it here with this monster Kansas buck that Mr. Tucker killed. Um, I'm, I'm jealous of this guy right now. Um, a good jealous. I'm not mad, I'm jealous in a good way. He has killed a monster Kansas deer and, and he won a major bass tournament this year. Tell me about the bass tournament before we talk about deer. That was the high school TBF world championship. That was in the Wisconsin, the Mississippi River. It was uh, all ups and downs to that tournament. I don't know how he brought it out, but we did get the win. That's awesome. Um, that's a big deal, man, winning a tournament like that. Now you got a scholarship mm -hmm. out of that. That was a good deal. And y'all can see that interview. I done that as well. It, it really is good. These guys went through a lot in that tournament and overcame adversity and won, mm -hmm. which is great. So here we have this big Kansas book we're going to talk about. Tell me about this deer, dude. So that morning, it was it was a blast. So it started off with a, a little buck coming in my corn pile. It just broke off 10 point. I wasn't going to shoot it. And then after he left, a doe came in. And when the doe gets hot, all the bucks come to her because she's ready for breeding. Makes sense. So <laughs> a little buck came and ran her off. And I'm sitting there waiting. I've seen a few deer. And then she comes back. And I'm videoing her because she's she's like six yards from me. So I'm just, it's cool. I want to get her on video. And I hear something. I look behind me, and here he is. All I saw was horns. And I put my mm. phone down, got my bow. He walked out like eight yards and with one contact I, I guess i could see good enough <laughs> put a great shot on him and then go 50 yards i'm gonna tell you something man it's an incredible deer um i've bow hunted i've killed some deer with a bow i know how difficult it is to get close to a deer a deer mm -hmm. much less one this big um you definitely had to maintain your composure so i know you wanted to wait for your dad to uh, go track this deer yeah, me and I was waiting. I texted the whole family and said I just smoked a giant, but they kept telling me not to get out of the stand. Don't get out of the stand yet. So I waited on him and my brother-in-law before we ever tracked it. That's cool. I know this buck's pushing, the, you know, the 140, 40 range. Um, it's it's got so much character to it. It's just an awesome deer. It's uh, got 15 scoreable points. We'll take a closer look at the rack here in a minute. Um, but it's just God, it's an incredible deer. How many have you killed now? I've killed, this is my first bow kill. Right. So, but I've killed, I've killed them, not as big as this obviously, but yeah. some bucks with my rifle and those. I've killed a bunch of deer with my rifle, but first ever bow kill. So you've officially tagged out in Kansas. Mm -hmm. One buck, one doe is the law, right? You, you can buy more doe tags right. you get a buck and a doe. I got you. Well, you know, if it wasn't for your dad's misfortune, we'll talk about it in just a second. If it wasn't for his misfortune, this might not happen. Yep, that's a fact. Let's let him tell us about it real quick. We're gonna go to raw, raw real quick, move the whole tripod. Y'all know I like doing that. So let's talk to Mr. Chris about his misfortune. 
So what happened there, Chris? Too many horns, man. Too many horns. <laughs> From what I understand, you missed this deer. Yeah, it's about seven or eight days before that. Me and his mama was up there. We were hunting, and we had the deer on camera already. And uh, I watched him come in, following the doe. And probably the the problem was I watched him come in. So <laughs> I watched him come about 50 yards, and he did everything he was supposed to do. Come right in front of me, 15 yards, broadside, and uh, buck fever. I mean, I just missed him. Went right up under him, didn't touch him. He ran over about 20 yards and stopped. And I got it on. I got it on video, and uh, oh. it's it was uh, heartbreaking. It all makes it better when my son gets to kill him, so it's uh, it all turned out well. I bet you wouldn't trade it for nothing. No. I, they, they all pick on me all the time, like, oh, you don't kill no big buck no more. I'm like, yeah, but y'all do. <laughs> so I, <laughs> we spent a lot of time in Kansas. We got a place up there, a lot of family up there, and a lot of, a lot of hard work goes into going up, getting the feeders ready, putting cameras out, getting everything ready for the family to come up. I had the, I've been blessed enough where we can go up and spend a couple weeks before the, the family gets to come up. And uh, my daughters and son-in-laws, all of them, we go up there and spend Thanksgiving that whole couple weeks there. And uh, they they lucky that uh, that I love for them to kill deer because I get everything ready for them and they get to smoke them. Heck yeah, and it man. it all feels good. It's all good. That's exactly right. That's what it's all about, dude. Exactly what it's all about. Let me sit this bat down. <coughs> all right. Let's see here. Yours was, was your cousin that was with you? My brother-in-law. Your brother-in-law. I think he was just as excited as you were. I think he's a little more deer. excited. Good Lord. We're going to watch the video clip. And I mean, he does the hook a buck shuck. <laughs> That's some kind of dance or something. <laughs> but uh, he, I mean, it's amazing the emotion a deer can bring. I mean, you ain't always got to be the one to pull the trigger or release the arrow. I mean, it's an exciting thing. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to look yet. Yeah, I think you got a dead deer. I don't want to go look yet, just in case. No, let's go look. I think you got a dead deer, dude. Okay, let's go load up my doe and then go look. No, I think yeah, you have I think a dead deer. Fine. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That's the 15 point boy. Oh my crap. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, my crap. 50 oh, yards. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that, man. Stop fan, baby. I told you. Holy crap. That's a giant. I am not believing this. <coughs> That's a good shot too, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm tagged out, bro. Is that, this is entry, in, this is where he was. Yeah, it's the entry. Oh my God. Wow. 
Turn it around so I can see. Holy. That's a giant. Holy cow. That is a beautiful deer. He's got more than 15. He's got a bunch of junk on him. Seven, eight. Does that, that count? for a first bow kill. Does that count? <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Mm. Holy crap. Welcome to Kansas. I'm happy for you, man. Thank you. It's great. Well, let's take a little bit closer look at this uh, rack, man. Let everybody see it up close. All right, y'all. Let's check the old rack out. You gonna grab that side, Tucker, make sure I don't drop it. As you can see, he's got one, two, three, four, five right there, six, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen scorable points now and that's just a freaking beast of a ray you talking about character it's just eat up with character golly i bet you man had the shakes after that <laughs> oh absolutely well, we're gonna see it on i'm gonna get the video footage we're gonna check it out that's an awesome deer dude so y'all is this the uh, now you said you had this on camera. Mm -hmm. You got any other big ones on camera? Oh yeah. Any bigger than this? We had one, I don't know where he went. We had one on camera that was, <coughs> it wasn't, it wouldn't have much character, but it was just a typical 12 point and it was just massy and wide. It would have been scored a lot more than this, but I don't know where he went. We lost that one. Man, who knows? He might pop back up. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to hope anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. But dude, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I'll tell you, man, I've, I've, I've had a lot of fun bringing these deer to everybody. Um, I've done a monster Georgia book yesterday. They had a unicorn point coming out the forehead. But I'm going to tell you something. This deer is my favorite. I love all that. I love the character. Mm -hmm. I ain't about the sky care with less what the score. I love the character of a rag. I mean, that's what it's all about. You have people that I might, you know, taxidermists. You can have somebody to bring one a broke point. They'll want it fixed. Man, that's how the deer, man, that's how it went down. Leave it like it is. Leave it natural. But this is just a beautiful rat, dude. Beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. We're going to wrap this up. You got anything you want to say, Mr. Chris? No, man. If y'all need anything to do with hunting the fishing, you know, JC's outdoors. We got it all. Come on out and see us, and we'll hook you up and get you uh, get you set up where you can go kill a deer, bow, rifle. It don't matter. We can, if you can kill one with a cane pole, we can hook you up. <laughs> What's good is I live like two minutes from here. There you go. I can walk here. Yep. And not only that, man, y'all got awesome food. Yeah. Awesome get food. You clothes you name it we the got food it. is good as you can see <laughs> but uh we're gonna wrap this thing up man had a blast bringing this deer to you i love big bucks i think i said it before i found a new love in the outdoors and ain't always pulling the trigger man i, I love big bucks and i love people tell, telling the stories so what i love the stories picture's good but the picture without the story yeah you don't know what happened um so i appreciate y'all tuning into this um Subscribe, comment, share. That's what it's all about. You know, if you see me a public collar at me, because I've been meeting a lot of people to watch my YouTube channel just around town. But anyway, y'all have a good one and stay tuned because I'm going to talk with a 13 year old girl tomorrow with a big buck she killed in Sumter County. So I can't wait to bring that to you. Y'all stay safe.